Hey, hi, Darby Squad. It's Foxy. We have day two of the Japanese preliminaries. Our second match of the day is Masayu versus Mai. So if you guys don't know who Masayu is, he's a cleaver like me. We play the Draco Bestead composition. I'm gonna pretend I'm Masayu. This video would be like me playing SWC, but I am going to head and pick like Masayu facing this guy right here Mai. So Masayu we know he has first pick. It's going to be very obvious first pick Bastet. My analysis is not going to be play by play. I'm going to try to analyze from Masayu's point of view because I'm pretending I am Masayu. So he takes away the Draco. It is pretty big. If he takes away the Draco I essentially also lose the, the, the Garo because that's my 30% speed lead. Do I need a 30% speed lead? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Because I know Mai, he's not the fastest guy out there. He was running a, he was running Dragon Knights. He was running a Tiana. Maybe his Swift runes aren't the greatest. So I'm a little bit confident. On the first match, there's some leeway. I can draft a 24 speed lead and my Kabila. My Kabila is on my tier three Swift runes because tier one is Stet, obviously. Tier two is Draco, and tier three is your Kabila slash your um, tableau. So he goes and takes the Shimite. He's like my strategy right now is basically what I like what happens to me all the time. If someone knows who I am, they just rob all my units. This is exactly what's going on. He's taking units away from from Masuyu and then he's testing his rune depth. So the next test is what is is this cleave versus cleave? Because if this is the last pick on Mai's teams got to be an attack bar buffer. And who can it possibly be? Kabila's taken, Bastet's taken, and was he's gonna pick Megan? I'm not sure Megan's gonna be the pick here. So if I was if I was um <laughs> if I was Masa you here, I'd pick another 24 speed lead, like a Jameer or a Sierra, and then another damage dealer. And there you go. The last damage dealer is a wind demon because it counters the, the like he counters the Samoth so hard. So what is the ban here? The the Ganymede is not exactly an attack bar buffer, but he has a very high base speed. And M Masayu, like me, we run no will runes. And that's why the Ganymede, I think Ganymede is most likely the ban here. Uh, if you, you either ban the Ganymede or the Samoth. But if you ban the Samoth, you are banking that's not a swift Ganymede. If that is a swift Ganymede, you instantly lose. All right, like maybe Mai changed his rules between day one and day two. I don't know, but like if that is a swift Ganymede, we instantly lose. It's like it's got one one three base speed, if I recall correctly, and we compare that to Bestet's ninety nine. But it's, <laughs> it's not much competition. So here we go. How good are your swift runes? Swift Gany, like I called it. So I I told you I should have banned the Ganymede here, right? And now the Lucian is gonna fat. Oh, he is so unlucky. Lucian with the attack, random attack buff. It is all but over. Masu with the miss ban here and got reverse cleaved. It is heartbreaking to see, but I called it like it was. Swift Ganymede. You should have banned the Ganymede. Because what if Samoth and Draco? Like, I don't think his Draco is like super fast, right? And we saw the Ganymede with 113. That was the fastest match in SWC, and that's probably why. Come to us, pair two cleavers in the beginning because we got to get rid of them. But little did come to us know there's multiple cleavers in the Japanese meta. So how would I have played that in a speed battle? You just have to be smart about it, right? Masu was confident on his swift runes. But realistically, even if you're super confident in your swift runes, there is a... This, this Ganymede's base speed is just too insane. Like, how do you compare... Ganymede's base speed to to um, to to Bastet's. You don't, right? And another thing is, I didn't get to see what is faster because of the attack bar looked very close, the Kabila or the Bastet. But I'm banking on the fact that his Bastet's actually faster. And I will never know until, until match two, depending on the ban phase. Honestly, I don't know if the ban was the Tiana, the pre-ban Tiana. I'm not really sure. And keep in mind, Masayu will not be getting first pick this time. So will he pre-ban the Bastet? Because he's not going to get... He may not even get Bastet here. And we saw the enemy, Mahi, he did pick Draco. So does that mean that he also ruined Cleave up as well to, to take it away from Masayu? I, I, think, I think the pre-ban... It, it may be Bastet 
or it might be like a 33 speed like Vanessa or Samoth because I don't see like I don't see myself drafting those units quite often and taking them away from the playing field enables the speed playing field to be a little bit better. Bans the swift Ganymede. So the gimmick worked once. You know, in, in ladder, the gimmick works once, and if you play them again the second time, the gimmick no longer works, right? That's why in solo queue, in the ladder, swift Ganymede is a very good counter to our, to like to cleave because it's so fast, right? So does he pick Bastet? No, Bastet's not taken. So I expect the Bastet Draco right here, unless he's not cleaving. I don't know about this. Taking if if you if he locks in double 33 speed leads there is no damage right there is no damage if mahi wants he can just pick his dragon knights and then he just obliterates the, the <laughs> he just obliterates them and keep in mind like keep in mind like i don't think the samoth here is a good pick it has to be like a bestet first pick i do not agree with two 33 speed leads because now what damage does he have he picks bestet draco and then Bastet Draco gets through, last pick Lucian, you ban the Lucian, and now you have no damage. You have 233 speeds with no damage. So what does Masayu do here? Like Bastet is still on the table, right? Like a bit of the see right here, right? We're calling. So he should have picked, like, there's no Ganymede on the table. And if you first two rotation Draco Bastet, you took away his Draco. So who is his other attack bar buffer? I don't know. Just Ganymede's banned, right? I didn't watch his matches yesterday, so I'm not 100% sure, but... I think he already misplayed here. Um, like right here, it's either you Bastet Draco or he goes into a flex composition and goes right here, right? Now we have Miho. Miho the solo, Miho 1v3 technology, maybe a win panned out last pick, maybe. And then we see a ban on this, um, the Neftis. Depending on the last few picks here, if I see a Laika, then Miho is probably getting banned. Okay. The Wind Panda technology is being robbed. So, what what is going to happen here? Like, Samoth is getting through 100%. You see the Tiana pick, you see the Wind Panda pick, and boom. He's got one speed lead, right? Masuyu has last pick. He should have used his last pick for the speed lead, if required. Because if you if the enemy takes Vanessa, and you pick a Shimite, He's got 24 speed lead in Neftis and a Vanessa. If you ban the Vanessa or you leave the Vanessa up and you ban the Neftis, you're most likely outspeeding the Tiana. Tiana's got pretty low average base speed. And Bastet, you got some god tier swift runes and your enemy is not as good. So we bust out the sec mech technology. So you guys saw my previous videos. All these technology videos has prepared you for this moment. So if I master you, who do I ban here? I think I ban the Neftis. I have no immunity. And I need this Miho to solo this, right? The Miho is going to do work against the Dragon Knight. It's going to do work against the crit damage Tiana potentially. The Wind Panda, not necessarily, but we see it get banned. So we do see the ban of Neftis. And keep in mind, he does have a crit damage segment. So no, he's not lacking in the damage department. We're going to see first turn Bastet into a reset onto... What do we see the reset on? The Tiana, right? Like the, You see that Tiana speed? It is so slow. Like, it is so freaking slow. And imagine if this Vanessa was like a Shimite. We would be seeing so much damage being pumped out right now. But no, we are just kind... We're just kind of just chilling here. All right, we have two water units. Doesn't get doesn't get it, but he does get enough for that. This, was that a vine proc? I didn't even get to see it. That, that was a vine proc. That was a pretty nice vine proc. Because now the Samoth is basically useless. He's gonna revive from the Vanessa and boom, useless. When Panda works on the Samoth, and what's he gonna do here? No revive. It is gone, right? He's gonna revive, trigger the Vanessa's passive, and I think it's a little bit like right here. But what does he do here? He has to kill. Then no kill and just suicides. So now we have almost no damage. Now we have a crit damage. Segment, but is it enough? The violent proc onto y'all kill the Jaeger here. Yes, kill the Jaeger into skill two. Yes, heal block. Oh no, heal block. Oh, that is crucial. Heal block missed on the Jaeger. He's got some high accuracy and a violent proc from the enemy. I think the Vanessa pick and the Samoth early was just a mistake. Like we know from the previous matches, Mai does not run very fast units, right? 
It doesn't. If you just first pick the Bastet Draco, or what does it leave Mahi? It just leaves the Tiana and his banned Daphnis in the pre prelims, right? So how will we even deal with this panda? I have no idea. Skill 2, crits, and boom. He's got to do some mad work here. With the kill, defense break on the panda, no defense break on the panda, and this is over. Masayu is out. I think... I really think he might have misplayed there. Uh, maybe the nerves got to him, I'm not sure, but it looks like his tournament life is over. So that's what I would have done during the draft phase. I know I said it multiple times, but I can only emphasize the difference it could have been if the first two picks were Bastet Draco and you save it, the last pick for a potential speed lead. You may, you may not even need it because Mai had the last two picks. And if he didn't pick a speed lead, you could have picked a Julie Lucian and just wiped his team. Classic G3 cleave. Boom. Get that garbage out of here. But very unfortunate. I think this is a lesson for Masayu in terms of like, like preliminary ban. Like for me, watching it is very easy when playing is going to be very different. So hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this one. And... For those who are wondering why I'm not covering other matches, because I really don't care. I only care about two people here, Masayu and Kabura, the people who are cleaving. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video, which will be about Kabura.